I love these small rig tripod legs because you get the single latch for all your adjustments. And honestly, it's a pretty light tripod. The issue was the small rig head that came on here. It had a uh, panning like fluid drag like that I could adjust, but nothing for tilting. And I noticed the other day when I was on the 600 millimeter lens, trying to make small adjustments up and down was just too dramatic. If I could have just tightened this up, it would have been a lot better. I think this is a lot better of a head to begin with. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. So yeah, I think this is a good upgrade for something I already had. So I've been looking at these for like a while now, for about a month or so. I thought these would be good for the vlog. The only one that they had available is an open box. And on the open box, it states that it's missing a type C cable, which is fine. The clip magnet, which I'm not sure what that is. We're gonna find out. And then the windscreen, which again is fine. I'm assuming it's the windscreen for the new DJI mic. Uh, this is the creator combo kit. So it did come with the DJI mic. With this, I figured this would be a great way to hit record and just do what I gotta do. Peter Mokri uses these a lot. I got to play with his at the shoot we were on. I get it, the clip magnet that goes on here where it would like stick to your shirt. Okay, well that's good. Whoever used it uh, didn't even take the screen off. So did they buy this just to get the accessories out? Pop it on, got a green light, flip the screen out. And now we're good to go. So here's one of the biggest reasons I like the idea of this. You can double tap and now it's gonna follow me. So now it's recording. Um, so whatever I do, it'll follow me and do it. So I think this will be good whenever I'm doing setups and stuff. Okay, so now theoretically this mic is working. So our second location for the day, real estate investment group. They're doing some kind of meetup or something. So they just want some promotional material for the next event. So no photo or nothing, all video. Um, I need a basic audio kit for some of the stuff that they want. They want a couple testimonials. And then, yeah, I now have this for vlogging. So we're gonna play with that tonight. Running the FX6, should be pretty easy. This is such a cool spot. That's why it's called the backyard now. Do you want people using one of these? No, the, no. Okay, no, or do you want, so. okay. Now I've got like little mic, so this is the microphone. She said she wanted a few testimonials. Oh, she, she wants did, a few testimonials? Just like people around. I'll let you know who. Okay, okay. We'll just kind of go play it ear by ear. But now the hard part is just finding variety because obviously when you first get to these events, there's no one here. You just start trickling in. But it's the best time to get handshakes, hugs, stuff like that. So that's what I look for. There's also not a ton of branding at this event. It's like this one, like a banner. So makes it hard for gathering B-roll. I have to get some sound bites too, so maybe I'll laugh those out sooner than later. Looks like we're gonna get the drink started. So this is gonna feel like a complete no-brainer, but I don't know why I never really thought of this or took this method, but I was watching a vlog a few months back by Oscar Hodges, and in the video, he's filming for this event and he's going around and telling people what he wants to do. Basically, he's asking people like, hey, can you walk this way? Can you walk and smile? Asking the bartender, you know, can you pour a drink while I do this thing? And again, it's common sense and most, you know, people who aren't introverted or have done this a while have no problem asking people to do a certain thing so they can get a certain shot. And in the video, he even talks about how it's easier to be a fly on the wall and just kind of wait for things to happen and hope things will happen. But you get a lot better content when you ask people to specifically do a certain action so that you can get exactly the shot you're looking for. I'm gonna have a link to his video in the description. He hasn't posted in a couple months. Go show him some support. But this is seriously such a cool video to watch to kind of see how these things go. Just asking people to do certain things resulted in me getting the shots I was hoping for from the very beginning. You wanna do me a quick favor? Can I step back there and just have you like set that down like you just did, just real quick? I'm gonna have him set that drink down in front of you real quick just to grab the shot. Yeah, you know what? Uh, do you have any that are affected by No, no, no. I'm gonna Thank you. Circle. I need to go get my sound bites now from Sergio. Can you get a minute? Do you want to knock out your sound bite? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just a quick sound bite. I'm just going to do it outside because it's so loud in here. Hope he's awesome. Hope you probably give hey. a cool testimonial. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just knock this out and then you can, yeah. Okay. We're going to go do his sound bites. Awesome, awesome. All right, we'll put this on you. So this goes underneath your shirt and then it's a magnet like that. Okay, got it. Oh, it's got to be hidden. 
Yeah, kind of. You'll see the like little black square, but it'll go up here. Uh, come over like pretty close to me. Yeah, right there. That looks nice. I love the way they like to bring everybody together. Then they get wholesalers, agents. That was beautiful. That was perfect. One take wonder, dude. Yeah, that it, was good. Okay, sweet. In a minute, when y'all are done eating, you think I could get like a couple fake shots of you guys like either playing like Connect Four or like beer pong or something? Is that kind of vibing out? Or, or play for real? Yeah, you know. All in all, uh, I think that was a pretty easy gig. I think it was a little on the boring side as far as like what I could do and what I couldn't do. A boring shoot or something is not an excuse to not still provide a good product. So, also I'm curious, how do you like the vlogs with the uh, DJI with this new vlog camera I got? Because I don't want these to feel overproduced or anything. I think part of the charm of these vlogs is that they're raw. You feel like you're in there with me? Like, how does this feel? Uh, does it feel like I'm able to give you a little bit more information? Or does it feel like I just need to stick with the phone stuff for the majority of this and kind of just use this every now and again?